Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. In the last video, see link in the box below, I discussed the origins of agriculture and its effects on height and life expectancy. In this video, I will explain how domesticating plants and animals led to the domestication of disease. Before humans began focusing on the seeds of grasses such as wheat, millet, rye, and corn, the seeds simply fell to the ground where they were easily found and eaten by birds and rodents. The domesticated grains have seeds firmly attached to the stalk. This makes it easier for humans to gather and process the seeds, but more difficult for rodents. Birds could pull the seeds from the stalks. More difficult for rodents except for the fact that humans did not eat all the seeds immediately. They stored some for future use in cooking and some for future use in planting. The stored grain actually made it much easier for rodents. All they had to do was find a way into the storage containers. Soon the agricultural villages were overrun with rodents. Rodents eating their stored grain was bad enough. Even worse, rodents carried various types of diseases to which humans were now exposed. To make matters much worse, humans just threw their trash and garbage out the door. Foragers may also just throw their trash out the door, but they generally move to another location after a few days or weeks. So they, their trash doesn't pile up and encourage rodents to stick around. Foragers were not usually in contact with animals that would give them diseases. If they did get sick in one place, they moved on and left sickness behind. Humans in agricultural villages unintentionally encouraged rodents to move into the village by providing the rodents with abundant resources. The rodents, in turn, provided the humans with diseases. The rodents were basically domesticated along with the grain. Humans living in villages now lived with disease. And if that were not bad enough, around the same time that humans domesticated the grains, they began domesticating some of the herd animals. The first to be domesticated were sheep and goats. Later, they domesticated cattle, pigs, and chickens, among other animals. You might think that humans first domesticated the dog, but it seems the dog domesticated itself. The herd animals have a variety of contagious diseases that didn't have much effect on humans prior to domestication. But once domesticated, the animals lived with humans, sometimes in the same dwelling, which meant that the pathogens causing a disease in animals could transmit to humans, adapt to humans, and become contagious diseases in humans. From rodents, humans can get hantavirus and the bubonic plague, among others. Smallpox also evolved from a rodent virus. From cattle, humans got measles, a relative of rinderpest, a disease in cattle. From sheep and goats, humans can get rabies, ringworm, and several other diseases. From duck feces falling into the mud where pigs live, humans get the influenza. From chickens, bird flu can jump directly to humans. Agriculture brings more and more land under cultivation, which means humans move into the habitats of more types of animals. This leads to more exposure to new and different diseases. According to the World Health Organization, 61% of all human diseases are zoonotic. That means they have an animal origin. 75% of all newly identified diseases are zoonotic. So in addition to domesticating plants and animals, humans also increased their exposure to contagious diseases, and that altered the course of human history. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel 